Hello, this is Karla Nieminen. Today I want to share with you 10 principles for personal growth or 10 truths about life that have really helped me become a happier person. I really think one or two of these can change your life. Let's get started. First, your priorities are what you put your time into. It doesn't matter what you say to people. It doesn't matter what you think that, oh, my number one priority is my dream of becoming a writer or my number one priority is to give time for my family. If you actually never do it, if you actually spend 24-7 in another job or if you watch TV eight hours a day, it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you think your priorities are if you don't put time towards your priorities. Of course, sometimes we have to temporarily do something else, but long term, you need to have a plan how to get to spend more and more time with your priorities. Where you put your time, there are your actual priorities. And the great thing is that you can improve a lot of things if you just put the time there. Secondly, truthfulness is the way to go. Truthful, slow and steady will win the race. It's like the story about pigs building on a beach. The one pig builds very fast a beautiful house of hay and the other pig builds it with bricks, but he's slow and he doesn't have that big of a house. Then there's wind or waves or whatever, and guess whose house is still standing? The pig with the bricks. This childhood story tells a lot about life. Build with the bricks. Build slow, build steady, stay truthful. In the end, you will reap the benefits. And it saves also a lot of energy when you act and speak truthfully. You don't need to remember who you have told what to, and you don't need to be afraid that what if someone finds out the truth? You already told the truth to everyone. Third principle. Life is Tetris, not chess. There will be constant surprises. Your plans will never be executed as is. Expect the unexpected. It's good to plan, but hey, be ready for surprises. And you never know how the dots will be connected. Good example is when Steve Jobs was at his university studying and he took a lot of courses about fonts and calligraphy. And he didn't have any idea how is he going to use that knowledge. But later, those parts were actually essential in making Apple famous and in building his UIs and operating systems. You never know what happens and you never know how the dots will be connected. The fourth principle, straight from Stoicism, obstacle is the way. Anything that happens, anything that goes wrong or comes to your way, that is the way. It's part of your practice. There is not another alternate reality where everything goes well and then you feel sad because you are not in that reality. No, accept whatever happens, that's how it's supposed to happen. That's exactly what's best for you. Obstacle is the way. Why this surprise happened or why something went wrong is because that was actually better for you. You will learn something, you will get to a better place, the alternative would have been worse, one way or another. Trust the end result. Trust that the obstacle is a gift. Go forward. That's how you get to your goal. Number five. Quantity brings quality. You just need enough repetitions to get to quality. And this principle is good for sports, dating, sales, friendships, so many different things. Quantity brings quality. You need enough opportunities, enough repetitions. Don't judge yourself or anything by one or two times. Do more. Collect the repetitions and you can reap the reward. Number 
Of course, it's not only about the quantity. Quality also matters, but you do need the quantity to get to the quality. Sixth principle, the power of routines. Harness this and your life will be a lot easier. First, you get more energy when you do your day according to routines and you don't have to use your decision energy for every single small thing. As an example, if you every morning have to start from zero thinking what are you going to eat, what are you going to wear, when are you going to do sports, that takes a lot of energy that you could use for something much more challenging or more important to you. If you have good routines, you save your energy. Secondly, routines can really give you amazing feeling of completing things. They get you to the right track of mind and right positive spiral. This is why many people believe in the motto, make your bed in the morning. And nowadays I do make my bed every morning. It feels nice when you complete things. It gives you good feelings and gives you energy and motivation to complete also other things. Thirdly, how I have found routines to be extremely helpful for me is in challenging or depressing situations. Let's say there's a project that's very demanding for you, something you have never done, or let's say you get depressed because of something that happens in life, maybe to your relative or because of the time of the year or hormonal issues, whatever it is. When you get to a difficult, depressing, challenging part of your life, it really helps to have routines that can reduce these moments, make them a bit more bearable and you know how to get yourself out of them. This has been very helpful for me and I hope it will be the same for you. Seventh principle or truth about life. The power of writing. It's immense. It doesn't matter if it's about bad feels, your goals, or you want to practice gratitude. When you write it down, it really emphasizes whatever you want to do. It really amplifies it. As an example, how you can utilize writing in all of these gratitude, goals, getting bad feelings out. You can journal. There's a lot of journaling prompts or just write your thoughts to paper. You can write letters that you never sent just to get your feelings out and, and uh, also summarize and uh, process your thoughts better. You can write top lists. Let's say top 100 things you are grateful for. Uh, you can write three things every day, three goals, three things went well, three things that you want to improve, three things you are grateful for. All of this can really help you structure your thoughts, help you amplify them. They take you to those directions where you want to go in the end. And vision board. Vision boards are also great for goals. You never know how that can actually impact your life. The eighth principle, be the main character of your life. Decide that you are the director of your life and you go to the direction you want to go. You are not just supporting others. You don't need to wait where luck throws you. Remember the mindset of abundance. There's plenty of opportunities and great things for everyone and be the main character of your life. The ninth principle. You can change things a lot, but there is a price to it. You can really change pretty much whatever you want to change, but you need to be ready to leave behind your old ways, your old identity, and in many cases also the people. If you're ready to change, change is possible. Tenth principle. The truth is stranger than fiction. I would have never believed five or ten years ago what I have experienced and learned since then. Try to keep your mind open. Try to be open to different experiences. Believe that you have a lot of opportunities. Believe that you will get through it. Things might be scary 
things might be unknown, but be open to the world. Be open to experiences and learning, and you never know where you can get. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a lot of value from these tips, principles, and life truths. They have definitely been useful for me. And I have also linked some additional resources to the description box. If you want to ask me some questions, feel free to comment. If you want to hear some more, like and subscribe. I have a couple videos coming up for principles for different aspects of life and self-development. And I'll see you later. Thank you!